What's up guys? I have a puppy clip to show you. That's right, a puppy clip. It's not your normal type of puppy clip though, so let's just play that and see. Well, that's twisted. Pretty twisted, right? That's a video called Satanic Puppies on the Sold Bridges channel. Part of their Headstone comedy series. If you like your humor sick, you'll definitely want to catch the whole thing. Go ahead and click somewhere around here. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe anywhere. It it'll pop up somewhere, right? That way you'll catch the rest of Satanic Puppies. And make sure you subscribe to the Soil Bridges to watch the full series. All right, everybody, and we are back with Superior Spider-Man issue number 16. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I just want to say quickly on this cover, I absolutely love it. This is a great cover. Like, I would want the poster of this if I could. Yeah, it's super cool, but um, let's get right into the comic where we cut to and... <laughs> We're going to the Daily Bugle where, you know, there's a little bit of... Because everybody obviously wants to tweet about this and get on the internet and do it right away. And Robbie, being the nice, cool guy that he is, is like, no, no, anyone who does that is fired. We have no reason to think that Phil could be the Hobgoblin, even his Uncle Ben. And yes, Phil has an Uncle Ben, too. How crazy is that? And, you know, so and that, you know that's the thing. It's like it's they're drawing these parallels, but, you know... Uh, he a actually, lot of parallels. Yeah, and he's in there, and no one believes it. They're like, how could it be he's clearly lying? You know, and Superior shows up and gets in Robbie's face, and they don't believe him. Until, of course, he brings out a flaming sword. Yeah, to which you're like, ah, oh, you almost had it there, Phil, until you pulled out the flaming sword. <laughs> uh, and, you know, um, we go to the other side of Midtown where we just see, well... This is one of those Buisters. I have a feeling you're already like, these guys need a comic. Uh, yeah, the the Wraith, one who we actually saw in the last issue, too. Uh, her and Carly, the cop, they really don't like what's going on with Superior Spider-Man, and they've taken it upon themselves. Really, what no one else has done to truly break and uncover what's been happening with him. Right. And they're getting dangerously close. That they are. And, you know, when we cut back to everything that's going on, we see him, you know, Yorick is going kind of crazy and Superior manages to beat the hell up out of him real quick. Like Not just beat him, he brutalizes and embarrasses him in front of his girlfriend and his family. He destroys his life right here. Oh, he really does. I mean, on the street, he literally just drags his, like, almost dead corpse around just for In front of everybody, yeah. And, uh, you know, we got some great scenery here, but where the comic really, you know, it, as good as it was, it goes to, you know, Yurik is saved when he's, you know, he's saved by... The and, Goblin Underground. Exactly. And, you know, they bring him in, and we see Jameson's on the TV. He's talking because he is the mayor. Yep. And we see that he is crowned by the Green Goblin as the new Goblin Knight. Yeah, saying, you know, hey, Spider-Man destroyed your life, but you know what? If you work for me, you can totally move out of Kingsley's shadow and be your own man. I want you to be my Goblin Knight. And I'm like, ooh, cool costume. I am loving the hell out of this. Me too. This is like a TV show that I want to tune in every week because I have no idea where it's going. No idea. It, you know, Spider-Man has been predictable for years, but this is keeping so me at the edge of my seat. Every issue, I'm like, more, 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 now, now, now. <laughs> yeah, like, I have no idea where this is going to go from here. I mean, you know, uh, Spider-Man, in being a better hero, has completely burned all the bridges in Peter Parker's old life. Ruined this guy's life, Phil, who actually tried to be a hero at one point. Yep. Which they even bring up in here, and I like, uh, there's a hilarious scene where uh, the news is talking about all the different villains who have worked at the Daily Bugle at one point or another. <laughs> <laughs> so... I enjoyed the hell out of this comic. I ended up giving it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I, fr I freaking loved this one, too. I just My only complaint is I wanted more of it. Yep, and that's what great comics make us do. So, yeah, there we go. Um, We'll be back with more Superior Spider-Man, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.